we're back. Uh, today is a very special day. Uh, a couple weeks ago, ordered a full entire floor pan for the Impala. Um, I'll go over that in detail when we get back home and kind of show you why I chose to do that. Um, but going to one of my most favorite places in the whole entire world with uh, my best friend Ryan, um, Restoration World. That place is like Disney World for car guys, especially if you're a, uh, a GM guy, uh, trucks, cars, they've got a little bit of everything. So hopefully I'll be able to do some filming there this morning, but I just wanted to bring you guys along and show you this place. And um, if you're in the um, hunt for Impala parts, Nova parts, Camaro parts, uh, Chevy truck parts, this is the place to get them. So uh, stick with me today. We're gonna have a good time and uh, hopefully we'll be able to do some filming inside the store. So hang tight, be back soon. All right, so here we are, Huber Heights, Ohio, right off I-70. Um, it's literally five minutes off the highway. Uh, this place has GM restoration parts. Absolutely amazing place. So let's head on inside. They're hiring, by the way. So yeah, here we are, guys. This place is incredible. Floor pans, wheel tubs, quarter panels. I mean, you name it, this place has got it. Um, trims. I know a lot of you guys out there could use a lot of this stuff. Um, trucks, dashboards, grills, consoles, steering wheels. I mean, they've got a little bit of everything. Uh, you know, your user man uh, assembly manuals, that kind of thing. Um, so when you walk in this place, you see stuff like uh, there we go. That right there tells you all the different parts they have. Um, of course, sheet metal galore. We'll get into that once we get into the back here. Uh, more assembly manuals. So if you have wiring issues or you know you need to replace a rocker panel, you know this stuff. These kinds of books here show you how to do that sort of thing. Um, yeah, just absolutely amazing, you guys. But uh, of course, my favorite part would be the 55 to 70 full-size passenger parts which this whole entire shelf here a lot of this trim that you see Impala stuff and then of course this whole back wall all the way to about right in here is just uh Impala Bel Air uh, 57s you name it man this place has got it all battery trays it's really cool stuff. Um, let's see here. You got a 64 Impala that you need a brand new Super Sport trim. Right there it is, hanging on the shelf. Uh, they've got rare, hard to find parts, fan shrouds, um, all the way down to like accessory wiring, like dome lights, um, trunk lights, harnesses, that sort of thing. All your trim screws for different trim levels for uh, inside and outside, interior, exterior stuff. Uh, let's see, hood springs, uh, accessories, that. These guys right here, sorry, pretty cool. And then, of course, like I was saying earlier, the 55 to 70 full size. I mean, everything, guys. Gold trim like Bel Air. Brand new, hanging there on the wall. And then, uh, if you go to the back room, this is like kind of like the sheet metal room. Just, I mean, anything you could ever want for these classic vehicles. Again, right off I 70. Uh, Huber Heights, Ohio, so you're talking 10 minutes north of Dayton. 
So if you're in the tri-state area, Kentucky, Indiana, um, you know, a hop, skip, and a jump basically to get here, it's really not that bad. Let's see. Just so, so much to look at parts-wise. Now, the other thing, too, is if you got a square body, like 74 to whatever, 86, what, I'm sorry, 87, I think, is when they quit making those. Uh, they have all those parts here, a lot of sheet metal for those, floor pans, bedsides, um, brake parts, and then the 58 to 64, like your floor braces, um, drunk, trunk drop downs. Uh, let's see, heater boxes. I actually need one of those. Uh, 64 tail light, 63 tail light. Um, and if they don't have it in stock, they can get it to usually pretty quickly. Um, but, you know, of course, supply chains are what they are. Door bottoms, uh, just sheet metal galore. They even have some, like, early 51, 52, 53, 54 Bel Air, like, quarter panels and stuff like that. I'll do a walk around on this other show, um, aisle. But, uh customer service here is excellent these guys are very nice very easy to deal with and uh, very knowledgeable about their business and what they do I've built a few vehicles so far out of this place and uh, everything's just been top-notch great quality I mean like um, I think that's maybe a Camaro some Camaro pieces there if you're a Camaro guy they got pretty much damn near everything to build a whole entire car here. It's incredible. Trunk pan, which is actually why I'm here today. I bought my 64 uh, Super Sport trunk, or sorry, uh, front, front floor pan here today. I will need a trunk pan at some point, but of course, like everyone else, it's when you have the budget for it. And I'm just not quite there yet. But uh, just absolutely amazing stuff. Fuel tanks, Dynacorn parts. I mean, a little bit of everything here. You can get it all. So take you back out to the main showroom. Oh, they also do interior kits. Uh, they can do glass kits, uh, the channels, the felts, um, tack strip for headliners. So yeah, if uh, even if you're not in the Dayton area and you still need a part, these guys can ship it to you. Get you pretty much anything you need. So don't be afraid to reach out to them, give them a call. Uh, here we go, antennas. Pretty much every year antenna you could imagine. Uh, my personally, I love the 59s. I love the slope, um, but that's just me. Uh, gas pedals and then little you know little bits like that you can get that stuff here cross flags fuel injection which are that god those things are sick really cool square body dash panels dashboards just amazing stuff All right, so just trying to keep it quiet out of respect for the customers here, but this place is amazing. So reach out to them. I'll put a link up top here and uh, show you their business card. And don't be afraid to give these guys a call for any of those rare and hard to find parts that you might need for your build. All right, so we're back at the house. I uh, wanted to show you guys what I picked up today at Resto World. And again, uh, shout out to those guys. Thank you for allowing me to uh, be in the shop today and shoot the little video and uh, show everybody what you got. So let me flip you around and here we go. All right, boys, there she is. Full, not, sorry, not full four pan. It doesn't have the back seat area. Um, I think I can salvage that on this car. I'll, I'll go over that here in just a minute. Um, but just for the viewers at home, this is a uh, one piece front floor pan. And it does not have the braces because um, I actually have 
uh, intentions on putting convertible mounts on this car. And with the braces already welded to the floor pan, you can't put the cage nut in there because it's welded to the bottom of the floor pan. So uh, I might try to salvage some of my braces. If not, of course, Restoration World has them. I can pick them up there. Um, so I bought the pan without braces. So just FYI when you do that. Uh, but there she is, one piece. The stamping looks great, quality looks great. It's, you know, as to be expected. Um, this panel retails, I believe it's for $4.89, I think. I, I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, I ordered a few weeks back, but uh, just got her home and sat it here on the frame and it's gonna be really cool. It's, it's amazing how narrow these frames are compared to this floor pan. You know what I mean? But, uh, so some of you might be wondering, why buy a full floor pan instead of just fixing the one in the car? Great question. Could I salvage the one in the car? Probably. Um, the front tow wells, I've said it before many times on the video, on the videos, are shot. And when I mean tow wells, I mean the front floor pan area where your feet go that has the brace that runs along the front of the floor pan. Um, there's shot in this car. And I could 100% patch my factory four, um, but I opt ultimately chose not to do that because I just wouldn't, I wasn't, I didn't feel like I would be happy with that. I felt like I needed to do the full replacement. Um, there's nothing wrong with patching a floor. Guys do that, great. I've done it before. I've done that on square body trucks. I've done that on a few different vehicles it's it's you know this car i wanted it to be different i don't want there to be any rust um especially when it comes to the floor pan area and stuff like that and ultimately that's why i decided to buy that pan so i'll flip you around and show you my floor what i'm talking about the best i can so there you go you can kind of see it's, it looks worse than what it really is, but at the end of the day, both sides are like that. You can see the hole right there, right by the wood. I just, uh, I couldn't live with myself trying to patch the floors. I wanna make this as nice as I can and do the right thing, in my eyes anyways, and that was buying this. So, just trying to, just trying to get planned ahead. I don't know how soon that process is going to happen because I still got a long ways to go in the frame. Um, but inevitably at some point I will start making videos on the removal of the old four pan. Uh, I got to pull the carpet still um, and evaluate that rear seat pan area. And I've been underneath this car a bunch of different times. And I, like I said, I think I can salvage the rear seat pan. I don't think it's nearly as bad. It might have a little bit, uh, a little hole or something like that. But ultimately, I felt like the front floor pan just needed to be changed. So it is what it is. So look for that on a future video. Um, and again, thank you for sticking through. Uh, give Resto World a call should you need anything. And uh, you guys have a great day. Have a great weekend. And we'll see you later. Take care.